and uh, <laughs> tell you about the part. And also uh, with him is uh, the project manager, Lauren Belzer, and park ranger, Samantha Baranski. I work with these two a lot, and I'm sure I'm going to be working with Josh a lot more. Yeah. All right. Good evening. Uh, I've been in Newcastle since a week ago Sunday. Um, <laughs> so I'm super excited to introduce the people that actually know something. Um, uh, all kidding aside, um, when my schedule is kind of being worked out as, as my family gets ready to move up here, uh, Lauren let me know about this event tonight. She said, you should show up. There's a lot of great people doing great work in the city of Newcastle. So I'm there. Um, and I've really enjoyed hearing the first few presentations and meeting people who clearly are very passionate about what they do, about the city that they live in. Um, and I'm super excited to be a uh, well, uh, a very young member of your community. Uh, I'm super pumped to have an eight, I, you know, I just age out of your organization, but I, I think the Lions Club will, will let me in there. So uh, and uh, my, my wife will, will be uh, sure to get her library card. Um, uh, she and my kids are, are avid readers. With that, uh, thanks for the introduction. I look forward to meeting all of you more uh, over the next couple of months and years. You can harass me over at the table later and ask me questions I don't know the answer to. It'll be great, especially if it's on camera. And uh, with that, I'll introduce more. Um, I'm actually, Sam's going to Sam's gonna kick us off first. Okay. We're going to ah. give the big park overview, and then I'm going to kind of talk about the sheriff's house. All right. Uh, so, hi, everyone. It's great to see so many great faces here. Uh, first State National Historical Park is about to turn 10 years old. We'll be 9 years old this year and 10 years old next year, so it's very exciting. Has anyone ever been to a national park? Oh, yeah. Okay, that was a trick question. Okay. That was definitely a trick question. So, First State National Historical Park has six amazing sites spread throughout the entire state of Delaware. Starting from the most northern part of the state, we have the Brandywine Valley Unit, which is just over 1,300 acres, and that is owned completely by the National Park Service. Moving farther down into the state, into Wilmington, we have historic Old Sweets Historic Site and Fort Christina. And those two sites are not operated by the National Park Service, similar to Newcastle Courthouse Museum. They are operated by partners. And I won't get into all of the partners. We can talk about that later at the table if you're interested. Moving down here to Historic Newcastle, we are partnered with the Newcastle Courthouse Museum and we also have the Sheriff's House on the Dover Green. The Sheriff's House is the only other building <laughs> Oh, thanks. You skipped down one. <laughs> I did. The Sheriff's House is the only other building that is owned and operated by the National Park Service. On the Newcastle Green. <laughs> Moving down the state into Dover, we have the Dover Green, which again is not operated by the National Park Service. It is a partner operated site as well. And finally, we have the John Dickinson Plantation, also in Dover, which is operated at, by the Delaware Historical and Cultural Affairs. So, Together, those sites help tell that story of early settlement with the Swedes, Dutch, and English coming over into the Delaware Valley through the ratification of the United States Constitution, and as well as testing the United States Constitution, because as we know, it has been tested multiple times through history. So we won't bore you with all of the passport stamp lo locations, partners, programs, everything else that we have going on in the park. We are happy to talk all night long about that at our table if you're interested or you can sign up for the Parks Newsletter to get that information as well. But I will turn it over to Lauren so that she can talk about what's happening here in Historic Newcastle with that building that you guys have probably been staring at for a long time, wondering what's inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thanks guys, thanks for having us again. And I'm um, happy to kind of be your, your last speakers here to, to bring it home. Um, these are my super official talking points that I just wrote down um, to make sure that I didn't forget anything or leave anything out. Um, but just kind of, again, keeping it high level here for the presentation and then happy to chat more at the table after. Um, the Sheriff's House project, so I am kind of the, the park lead uh, as project manager for the Sheriff's House, but I'm kind of one person in a larger project management team working with other National Park Service folks, um, contract folks, um, but I'm kind of the person here at the park. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to give you my email and all that good stuff if you have questions. 
Um, but the sheriff's house was awarded, a, it was a multi-million dollar contract, and it was, the contract was awarded just this past December. So um, this project officially kicked off just a couple months ago with that contract being awarded. Uh, Riley Construction, they're actually out of a central New Jersey. Um, they're a bigger company that has a regional office in, in New Jersey. Um, they were awarded the contract for this, but they are kind of looking at the construction of the whole thing, but they're working with multiple subcontractors for very specialized like technical work that's going to be happening inside. So as you know, looking at the exterior of the building, um, it's a beautiful building. Um, it's not so good on the inside. It needs a lot of work. Um, we are looking at a project roughly 12 to 18 months from start to finish. Um, and that is, you know, with everything going on schedule, no big hurdles to, to um, overcome. Um, but basically next spring, spring of 2023, we should be in that building. So that's um, very exciting. I mean, that's it's going to go by really fast. Um, I don't know about you guys, but like I'm already adding things on my calendar like two or three months from now. So a year is going to fly by. Um, the goal of the Welcome Center for First State National Historical Park being in that sheriff's house is that it's going to be an orientation space for visitors. So it's going to be that space where anytime you've visited a national park across the country, it's that moment where you're getting information about what you can do there. What is the visitor experience to expect? What are the, some of the stories and history and things that I should be learning on my journey at this park? Um, so it's a small square footage inside and with that goal, we're, we're getting people, you know, oriented to the site and the park story, but then it's really to launch them back out into those six park sites um, because, you know, we're providing a space to welcome visitors and give them that orientation, but um, with all of the different partners, operating partners at those sites, I mean, those are, you know, the incredible subject matter experts who have boots on the ground, they give tours at their respective sites, um, like a lot of the programs that Cindy was talking about at the courthouse. Um, so then it's to get visitors to, to those sites throughout the state to, to get the more immersive, um, intimate experience at the, at the park. Um, the first floor is going to be that visitor space, and the second floor is going to be staff space. That's where the park headquarters is going to be. It's where offices are going to be, um, especially the two of us who um, work in like visitor services. You know, we do a lot of the communications and website and programs. Um, so with that first floor, you're looking at uh, two main rooms to provide an orientation, a lot of exhibits, both text and tactile, um, some audiovisual exhibits. We're going to have the park's orientation film in there for visitors to, to watch. Um, but it's, it's basically two big rooms and a hallway, a space to watch the film, and a lot of panels, again, to kind of interact with to get a feel of, of the park's national significance. Um, and that's, that's kind of the big overview. Um, the, again, the goal of the Welcome Center is for the, national, for the national significance. So it is not to duplicate or step on any toes on what's already happening at the Arsenal, which is, you know, the city's um, visitor center. Uh, so just a, you know, we're gonna be next door neighbors and we're all already partnering together, uh, you know, with the nine years that we've been kind of doing this together. So um, just wanted to, to throw that out there. but. Yeah, we have a lot of information. Um, we keep the website up to date. All of our information is on the website and on our park's Facebook page and Instagram page. That's um, really where to go for, for anything that you want to get updates on, um, in addition to the newsletter that Sam mentioned, uh, just because we're still a, a pretty small staff. So this is half the park staff right here. Um, and we have you know six sites that we're managing and um, a young national park that's growing. So. And if you do not receive the park's newsletter, I highly recommend signing up for it. It's the best way to stay involved in the park and just know what is happening. Anytime we need public comment, we're making sure that that gets into the newsletter so that everyone can receive the update as well as putting it on the website and social media. Any questions? <coughs> I just have one. Uh, downstate, Lewiston, yeah. mm -hmm. any, uh, any activity down there with the National Park Service? Not, um, not so much. I mean, um, unofficially, you know, we'll partners. I mean, it's definitely a lot of history there. I mean, Lewis was, you know, it's, it's in our um, legislation, um, but kind of could not continue an official partnership because of things that are that are at a higher level with and 
like the lands and the preservation easement, the things that we need in place to kind of do some of that official business. They still are in the enabling legislation of the park, so there's still opportunity to continue to work together, work together in the future. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't for Lewis, we wouldn't be a state today. Yeah. Um, I saw your hand first, so I'm just going to go here. Hi. What will be done with the jail? The jail that's inside? Um, yeah, so well, that the, is... The, you know, it's, at least it was separate. Yeah. Um, that is going to remain, but we are leaving that as a viewable space from inside the, oh. the um, Sheriff's House Welcome Center, but not actually um, going in and, like, touching and touring it, just to kind of preserve the integrity of it and also to make sure that we're kind of telling that that story that's significant to Newcastle, but not letting it kind of um, dominate the overall narrative and significance of it in Newcastle. Because it's just such a balance when you have such like, we don't have that much room in there <laughs> to tell all, you know, all of the hundreds of years of but history. But we also know that it's important to acknowledge the building that we're in, too. Exactly. People are going to want to know what it was. Yes. Go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm new to Newcastle, so I'm sure everybody knows, where is the sheriff's office? Well, welcome to Newcastle, first off. We're happy you're here. Uh, the Sheriff's House is located on the green, right behind the Newcastle Courthouse Museum, and kind of adjacent to the arsenal with a little bit of space and a bench in between. Okay, I look for it. Yep, it's on the cobblestone road. There was another question in the back? Yes. Hi. When actually does construction begin? Oh, great question. Um, so, we... We're in what's considered the pre-construction phase, so we, um, I'm currently reviewing a lot of the, like, the paperwork that has to get set up before they can actually get in there and physically do work. So once that clears, which I believe is going to be in the next month, I would, I think the last date that I saw was early April, is when they're actually going to start demo. If you follow us on social media, we'll make sure we put up yeah. a social media post too. Announcing we'll be, that it's we'll happening definitely alert this the week. community. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they'll be working within, you know, work hours. Like, they're not going to be keeping anyone up or starting super early. Um, they'll, you know, they, they are aware that they're in a residential community, but we'll definitely give the community a heads up before they start. And he told us that we only have three, two to three questions, and I know I saw another hand starting to go up. So, why don't you come talk to us at the table, and we'll gladly answer your question, but I also want to respect Cindy's rules. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you.